I mean, for a long time, I for, for many years, I worked in the corporate world. Yeah. And um, I guess about 20 years ago, I started work. I quit my job, and I started working for my husband. And not too long after that, I discovered weaving. And for Bill, I um, he has a home-based business, so I answered the phone and did the books and that kind of thing. And then I discovered weaving and got a couple of looms, and then I started keeping the business phone on the loom and um, gradually started weaving more and more. And fortunately, email started being more a part of his business. You know, it wasn't 20 years ago. You right. had to always answer the phone. And, right. you know, anyway, so um, I was needed less and less to do those things for his business. Um, and was able to spend more and more time weaving till eventually I had taken over the living room and dining room with looms and yarn, and um, that's why I then needed to move out and get my own studio. <laughs> I, <laughs> I mean, move my looms out. I, I used to have a fireplace in our living room that the, um, I can't think what the word is, the brick thing that's all around it the is hearth. almost, yeah, the yeah. hearth yeah. is almost the entire wall, and um, after I moved my looms out of there, Bill's like, Oh, I knew there was a fireplace under there. Because <laughs> it had been completely covered with yarn. Well, as you can see. <laughs> I can see. So tell me, you know, since you were mentioning the, 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 the pre, the period before the looms took over your life, mm -hmm. um, where have they taken you? Where has this, where has the energy taken you from the time you were answering phones to now? How... How has Deborah changed? What's happened during that period of time? Gosh, that's where? a good question. So t walk us through it slowly. T walk mm -hmm. us through. Get into that space where you were, not pre loom when you just who was. Give us a caricature of what Deborah was like right at that time. Well, before I went to before I quit my job and was answering phones and doing Bill's books, I was a very corporate person. I have a degree in business, and I worked as, um, I supervised the Western U.S. for a large travel company, so mm -hmm. I traveled a lot. I worked all the time. I was a workaholic, and um, mm -hmm. I was Miss Corporate, you know, I really um, had the briefcase and the high heels and the whole thing. So that's quite different from where I am now, where I think I'm getting dressed up if I put on my good black pants. <laughs> um, I don't know. I, I, I'm much more comfortable with myself. I mm -hmm. am very open. Um, but I, I don't know. I, I, I'm much happier. Mm -hmm. I'm doing exactly what I want to do. I feel very fortunate that I'm able to, when I come to work every day, I'm coming here. Mm -hmm. And I just, I just thank my lucky stars every time I stop and think about it that I'm not driving to downtown on L.A. or getting on an airplane to go, you know, off to Seattle or somewhere. And I get to be here and be weaving or teaching about weaving. I just... I feel very fortunate. 